A mouthful is island hopping again. Cat Island is our next stop. Mouthful is brought to you by Bristol's Wines and Spirits and Premier Crew. BTC, every day. Par Excellence Rice, separate and fluffy every time. We just landed in Cat Island and we're in the deep south. We're going to make our way around the island to find authentically Bahamian food. I heard Miss Mary has the best stuffed crab on the island, so let's go find her. I was told Miss Mary makes the best stuffed crab on Cat Island. And so, of course, it makes sense that we have to visit her, right? So, Miss Mary, tell me, how long have you been making stuffed crab? Uh, I've been making it, um, I say about a year now. A year? Wow! And so, who taught you? I taught myself. Can you tell us a little bit about the process? Well, you boil the crab. When you don't boil it, then you take it and you pickle all the meat. Yeah, you put the meat and you put the meat together, you get the herbs and you put the herbs together. Mm -hmm. And you make the stuff crab, you make the meat, you, you make it. Okay. And then you put it in the box. And that's what you call stuff crab. So I was just told that there's <laughs> I was just told that there's a difference between white crab and black crab. All the, All the same, but the, the white crab have more meat than the black crab. Okay, yeah. so do you so use, the, use the white crab. I use the black one too. The black one got more flavor. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So we're going to go in the kitchen and you're going to show me how to make some stuffed crab, right? seems like such a long process. Yeah, it is. How long does it take? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. A labor of love for sure. So this is definitely a labor of love. We saw Miss Mary picking the crab and then she made this wonderful mixture that she baked and now we're going to try it. And it's supposed to be the best crab on Cat Island. Baked crab on Cat Island, so can't wait. I'm going to put this right down. And it's, it's very hot. Can I put you in my suitcase and just take you oh, to Nassau with oh, me? Oh, sure. I have to get your sister, sure. your daughter's number. Yeah. What I like about the baked crab is she's not trying to impress you. It's very simple. That's right. You can and taste natural. the tomato. Natural. You can taste the onions, yeah. the sweet pepper. It's big. Um, it's a lot of crab. It's not skimping with the crab. Not a lot of um, bread crumbs. Bread, no. It's, it's wonderful, Miss Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to know that we are in Miss Mary's kitchen. Hence, you can see all the sweat that's... You know food is good when you're like sweating over it and just mixing. It's, yeah. it's perfect. Thank you, Miss Mary. Guess what, guys? We finally have an amazing website for you where we'll be posting more food adventures, behind the scenes photos and blogs, and this time, even our own ratings. Go on, check us out at adventureintaste.com. We just got done with Miss Mary's where we had delicious stuffed crab. And now we're at the Regatta site to visit Hidden Treasures. I heard they make awesome smoothies using native plants and fruit. Avocado, tamarinds, all of the above. Let's check it out. So we know that 
Bahamian food is usually greasy. That chicken in the bag, you know, all of that food, the peas and rice, all of that. But Hidden Treasures has found a way to make Bahamian food um, nutritionist. Yeah. You know, I have Miss Denise Bethel here, who's the owner of Hidden Treasures, and she decided not daiquiris, but smoothies. So we have almond milk, we have avocado, fresh mango. She said she usually uses agave, but we're doing a simple syrup and then cinnamon. And her beautiful daughters are gonna build this smoothie for us. So first we're adding a little bit of um, simple syrup, like it's just sugar and water blended. Um, but um, usually we use the agave, which is a little bit more healthier um, for people such as diabetics and um, anybody that's really cautious of sugar. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add some fresh mango. Okay. It's frozen, but... It's fresh. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then we're gonna add the avocados. And doing my research on avocados, it is really good for obesity and um, diabetics. Okay. Um, it's also good for complexion in terms of the skin. You can see it's it's the inside that's smooth and, and rich, and so it gives you that that um, health benefit of you know that cleansing, cleansing your, and your being nice and, and smooth. Nice. Yes. Okay. And now we're gonna add some almond milk just to kind of you know help it to become a smooth something a smooth drink. Okay. And um, so, so what flavor should I expect from this? Is it going to be smoothie? Is it going to be thick? Is it going to be? It's going to be thick because of the contents of the avocado. You know, avocado is it's thick, mm -hmm. and then the mango um, being frozen, it's going to give it some a more heavier. thickness. Yeah, it's okay. going to be a little bit more. Heavier. And then we're going to add just a hint of of cinnamon, you know, to bring it, bring that that taste out. Nice. Okay, the moment of truth. It's very thick, like you said, and smooth. I make green smoothies in the morning. This is definitely going to be on my list. Why the name Hidden Treasures? I am smiling because um, we're getting ready to do something else, and my husband said, I'm not sure of where you get these names from because I'm not sure where you found hidden treasure. I know that my husband is an excellent chef. Trevor Bethel is an excellent chef. And we always say how, spo how we are all spoiled, my two daughters and myself, and so it's kind of hard to please us when we go out. And so I said, when he cooks his food, when we cook our food, it's like treasure. And if you notice the building, it's hidden behind a big casarina tree. And so for you to find us, you're going to have to know we are there. And you're going to have to search and find us hidden behind the tree. And so we come up with hidden treasures. And then I realized this. And once you discover hidden treasures, you would have found out that you would have found the treasure, the treasures of the Bahamas in terms of food. Right. Like what you see? We want to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page and tell us what dishes you'd like to try. Get ready to wait, cause it's waiting time. Get ready to move, it's all about you. Hey, God, fuck it up. So tell me what's the best thing to eat in Cat Island? Okay, it would be the crab and rice, steam grouper, plantain with coleslaw, or better still, the crab soup. If you had to say, tell me one food that describes Cat Island, what would that be? Uh, crack Kunk. Crack Kunk? Yeah. Where has the best, which place has the best Crack Kunk on Cat Island? Yeah, it's uh, Melanie's. What's Melanie's place? Hotspot. Yeah. Wh which settlement is that in? That's in uh, Addiston. I would say Hidden Treasures, Jerk Chicken, and also Hotspot, uh, Dong and Office Town. Love their food. What's what's like really significant about Hotspot? What's really good at Hotspot? Everything. But honestly, they have this special appetizer called. Okay, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like um, okra. It's battered okra. Yeah, like like it's battered and it's deep fried. It's an appetizer. Awesome. Nice. I think mango sauce to go with it. Yeah. So uh, you would recommend that I go to Hotspot? Then? Definitely. It's a beautiful.
beautiful night in Cat Island. The stars are shining and it's nice cool breeze on the regatta side. I had some really heavy food today, so I think I want to get something a little lighter for dinner. I'm headed to Duke's deck to try his lobster salad. This afternoon, I watched this guy bring in a ton of fish and a ton of lobsters. So we're at his stall because he's from the ocean to the table, Duke's deck, and I want to know, Duke, what's your secret to great food? And I guess the secret is uh, make sure, I make sure my stuff don't be no more than about, maybe about four to five hours old. You know? Wow. Yeah. I try to go out, I, I just go every day once a week, but I go out, get my own fresh count, fresh lobster, fresh pooper, mm -hmm. so I make sure, and I have an excellent cook, you know. I, I heard you're the cook. Yeah, that's, I am. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. So, how long have you been open? Well, I was I'm doing, I mean, I was in fishing for a long time, but it took that was open now about, about four years now. You know, get better, getting better with time. Nice. Good response. Yeah, I mean, especially the holiday time. I mean, every year getting bigger and bigger. You know, people. But you know, once, once somebody eats you, the news get out, and, and and people just keep coming. Nice. I heard that you do like a special lobster salad, and I think you're gonna do that for us tonight, right? So give me a little rundown. I don't want you to tell your secrets, but what's so different about your lobster salad? Well, my lobster salad, like again, like I say, is being real fresh, straight out ocean. So it's, it's that make it that make it real nice and tender. Okay. So the rest, the, the rest go with just uh, the, a little TLC, you know. All right, so loving that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Thank you, Duke. I can't wait to try it. Oh yeah. You order an order of lobster salad and the chef brings you out a big, gigantic bowl of lobster salad. Remember I told you that Duke brought, caught this earlier today. I saw him bring it in myself and now we're about to eat it. Straight from the sea, straight from the ocean to our table, just like we like it. Duke also told us that they grow their tomatoes, so completely organic. I can't imagine the flavors that's going to come out of this lobster salad right now. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna dig in. Big chunks of lobster. It's not skimping, it's not too much herbs in it. Um, the tomatoes bring a great citrus to it, a great acid to it. Hearty lobster, onions, sweet pepper, that secret pepper sauce um, that gave a good kick, and obviously Duke's TLC. It's a really good lobster salad, I must say so. Because I'm such a foodie, I'm always eating great food. And I want to share them with you. So follow me on Instagram and Facebook for all the dishes that don't make it on the show. Follow me, I follow back. Good morning foodies. I had a great night's rest and I'm ready for some more Cat Island adventures. And of course, awesome food. I'm headed to Grammy Fires for breakfast. I think she's gonna do with some boiled fish and grits. I'm about to dig into Grammy Farah's boiled fish. So delicious. The broth has enough salt, enough pepper, enough lime. There's huge chunks of uh, potato. She gave us all of this fish with creamy, buttery grits. It's a great way to start a morning in Cat Island. And if you miss and beat me, I will be upset, but you being at all. What was your favorite meal growing up in Cat Island? It was only grits and lard and maybe a piece of fish. All right? My grandma cook it, my ma cook it, the lady who raised me, Miss Capron, she cook it. And that's what we had to grow up with. What about flour cake? Well, I never made flour cake, but the older people in the bike, they used to make the flour cake. Effie and Brister, we used to call her cousin Effie. 
She made flower cake, yeah. So why did you come back to Cat Island? I want to be home and this is the best place to be and I want to build my island. When I get some money, I'll try build a hotel. Oh, nice. Yes, house, yes. Uh -huh. So you'll invite us back? Well, I didn't invite you all this time. You all could come all the time. You could come freely. You could come. <laughs> <laughs> We're ending our days in Cat Island and we can definitely say we had our fill of seafood. That simple but delicious stuffed crab at Auntie Mary's, those big chunks of cracked lobster, the ocean to table lobster salad and that hearty bowl of boiled fish from Grammy Farah's. A mouthful is island hopping again, proving that good food is not only in Nassau. You just had a mouthful with Jay. See you soon. Promotional consideration brought to you by the BahamasWeekly.com, BahamasLocal.com, BahamianOrNutton.com. <laughs>